Hello and welcome back to Cut Buzz with Galen. Hello. Hello. We have um, done a bunch of trading. We've done a bunch of uh, inventory management, and uh, and we've made a plan, sort of. Kind of. Kind of. Um, there's a variety of things we could do. I was thinking we could either go and check out some historic sites, or we could ruin dive deep underground and then basically like travel in a direction just like like the nice thing about ruins is they just have they're almost like spiral borer in that they always have um staircases going down so we could just go deep 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 underground and then travel in a in a direction and um seek out a level 30 companion to make friends with okay okay um so well, do you want to do yeah. that or do you want to check out some historic sites we've got some historic sites lit up right now so let's let's check one of those out and if it's terrible awful terrible time yeah all right well i don't only check the check out the one near the uh yeah the deep jungle that one there yeah and down. i seem to recall we had a pretty easy time of the last one we did in the deep jungle travel to the historical site of igalip spring we did it we've done it heck yeah bud what are we looking for at igalip spring uh i don't know let's check out our quest boop boop let's have a look doop 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 wandering bog shashan soul drinker mamal ah unfamiliar the ruins of cat no oh, no we want to be friends to cat but you know maybe they will uh, appreciate us a uh, true retrieving this device and so we could destroy it i don't know there's my there's maybe. my loose lore all right let's oh a bird <gasps> that uh, is a is very much a nothing creature he's a cult member yeah but they seem cool with you actually right now something was not cool with you oh a deep slumberling you did uh, play with the idea of having Having your uh, golem be a slumberling, right? Yeah. Let me look at deep slumberling. I'm going to be playing uh, <laughs> the role of um, petition leader. I was just like, oh, what is that? And let me look in my log book. So, so deep slumberling would actually be level 30. So if you, uh, you know, that is an option. And I've just confirmed that it is indeed part of the bear faction. Oh, yeah. Um, you're you're in some danger. Is that that thing down there? Yeah, that's a that's a mortar. It's about to mm. blow a hole in the ground. And yeah, we could jump. It's a great idea. Nice. Good job. You could grab that limb. We do need a spare limb. Oh, wait. He's about to blow it up. No! It's fine. Only a hole appears. Uh, I guess in a couple spots. Deep slumberling's tail. There you go. Grab that for the golem. At the very least, you can make a... Uh, uh, put a bear as part of the golem. This is how I treat my enemies. I make them part of my tools of destruction. Ba -na 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 -na. I love this. Ba -na -na. Ba -na -na. Um, yeah, so this is okay so far. Oh, we found uh, the uh, ruin location. 30 the superior shamrod. Superior. It's superior. Oh, there's some stairs. What's that thing? Whoop. Oh, a turbine. A hydraulic turbine. Is there an, any other kind of turbine? Uh, maybe a pneumatic one? I don't know. I want some Air weird... instead of hmm? water. Some books. I want some weird quantum turbines that work on the, the I don't know, the multi-dimensional lattice or some something like that. This one's about Clank. Ah, Ooh. Clank puff at you? Clank distribute. Cannot kill Clank. Nice. All right. Well, I've made it mad. Here we go. I've made it mad. There's a bookshelf? No, the game. Oh. Mm. Nice thing about the chiral rings is you're going to be spoiled for choice for what limb to choose. Oh yeah, I also uh, I instructed Galen to, to pull out the n precision nanon fingers. Do you want to have a look at what those do? This uh, this would be a good example mm. of um, fun maxing over uh, min maxing. Reference percentage base effects are three x as likely to occur in good base chance of. I didn't know that. It, I forgot that it specified the weapon percentage. Um, you also have a data disk for uh, nanon. 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 Sure, let's learn that. Oh uh, no! Ah, tinkering three. Shoot, bummer. Can we learn? We can learn phase shades though. Yeah. Well, um, just to spoil it for a second, nanon basically adds a percentage chance of um, yeah, dismember mm. penetration on your gun. Mm -hmm. And so, um, with precision nanon fingers, it kind of triples that percentage chance, and so you're basically dismembering on every shot. Not every shot. I mean, it's not a hundred. It's a it's a higher than like what it tell. I think it's as high as twelve percent, maybe. We can store something in there to get flattened. I can't. Remember. Oh, it's not powered though. Uh, eventually, one day there's gonna be automation uh, crafting mechanics in CUD, and I'm I'm here for it. Ooh, what is that? Gelatinous anti prism. That is one of the highest tier in the game. 
me just see what level that is. Gelatinous anti... I know you're going to kill it. That's fine. It is also a level 33. Oh, that creature is oh. particularly nasty if it engulfs you. Well, I ran away. You did run away because you have like double its movements. Do, 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 do. And now he's dead. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm just going to go to those stairs. It's actually... It's not even close to the highest tier gelat... Uh, okay, it is the, the highest tier um of the kind of like shaped creatures shaped gels but um it's very much low on the on the totem there's many the high, <clears throat> high tier oozes oh well, you uh you completely destroyed that what did you what did you cut off white ash's tail their tail Hi, got bird. dismembered bird. i mean they're yeah Boo -doo 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 -doo. But are you all yeah they're they're all gonna be mad at you now i didn't do anything uh, I think the chiral rings have a chance of dismembering something nearby. They don't even have to attack you. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, birds. Sorry. Birds. Uh, uh, birds. My, oh, birds. I'm so sorry. Birds. Uh oh. Uh, uh. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> Look at all the dismembered parts on the ground. Good god. This is your fault. You've done this. You've done this to me. I mean, uh, another way of saying that th that is I did this for you. I never wanted this. You made me kill the big monkey. It does, he was going to be nice. It does make me think of that one um, Batman short in the kind of the, the Batman of Matrix. Remember that? They did. Uh, they did an a, a equivalent kind of series of shorts to for Batman that they did for the Matrix. Yeah. And uh one of them, I believe, even had Christian Bale voicing the character. Yeah, because it was supposed to be like the year one for him. Yeah, and uh, he gets a he gets a very similar device to the Cairo rings, but it's not nearly as deadly. Um, but it essentially like bounces back of bullets, um, and uh, and he's like, yeah, get rid of this. It's no good because it, it it was so good at what it did is it, it actually like bounced them back people. Like, whoever shot the bullet would just get the bullet flinged oh. back. Oh, that's nice. And a weird artifact. Quite good. What do we got? A mag hammer. Um, those are worth disassembling. They're they're nice, but we're way past that. We could grab the nuclear cell. It's a shame it's used. Um, I always thought that that was kind of a dumb way of ending it, because, like, you, could you not tweak the design so instead of bouncing back the bullets, it would stop them? But, anyway. I guess not. I, I understand I'm not ignorant to the fact that a lot of those shorts were metaphorical and not, um, you know, like meant to be taken literally. Anyway, we have we have we have kind of perfected the modern Batman design with your character because this is this is the Batman that Hollywood wants. This is the, mm. uh, you know, gun toting um, master of machines and gadgets and, uh, you know, full utility belt complete with like anti everything spray and uh bird killing rings yeah like this batman has absolutely no morals or or ethics or any kind of lines like he crosses he makes lines for himself and then crosses them immediately no killing birds sorry let me do that no killing birds and then he just uh, like immediately starts dismembering every single bird within you know spitting range if you couldn't tell i'm, I'm a little bit cynical of hollywood's vision of batman Personally, I think that Batman is at his best when he has less tools. He, I like it when he has everything labeled. Yeah, he's got a label gun. Yeah. I thought Batman didn't use guns. Why do you, Batman? What did? What is this? Uh, that's my. That's it's my label. Very gun. clearly labeled. It's clearly labeled. Yeah, it's a label gun. Oh, I found it. There it is. The unfamiliar. The I was the ruin of cats. What is that? What is the? What is the? What does that do? Oh, can't grab it. Can't automatically grab it is really... There you go. Oh, the birds made the hammer. Mmm. Because they hate cats. I kind of love how much sense that makes. Uh, inventory. What am I doing? There it is. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah. Ugh. Minus 200 reputation with cats. But grants you teleportation, and it is a really nice cudgel. Like, a really nice cudgel. Uh, I don't know if it counts as Zetachrome. 7% chance to behead cats, specifically. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, that's really funny. Stamped with beautiful maps. There's an engraving of cats being humiliated at a banquet. <laughs> Wild. 
everything i have to take i'm gonna take a picture of this this like truly uh, a, a more hateful weapon towards cats would not be found uh the fact that it gives a teleportation at level seven though and is a really nice cudgel it, it really kind of sucks that we can't use this like we could use it don't you know let's let's not be British about it but it's just it's like assemble destroy like that. <laughs> oh that's really funny everything you read about it was like more funny okay uh, well that was that quest yeah I mean there's probably um, more here we want to we yeah. want to exploring for sure and there's another thing that's just against cats <laughs> Bane of cats, time sworn solace. Oh, it's probably in this historic site, to be honest. Oh, wait, no, actually, does it say where it is? Uh, it implied it was somewhere else. Oh, that's at the wandering bog. The wandering bog. My ring stopped floating. I think they're out of power. <laughs> that. Oh, a bear. That really cracks me up. Why did you think the bear wasn't even angry at you? That bear knew what was coming. If only we had a time sworn bane of bears. Uh. You'd equip that without even thinking about it. Bow, 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 bow. Do we want to recharge my rings? Or just leave them for now. Oh, are they? Uh, are they, uh, they? They're no longer. They did powered? power down. Oh. So I assume. Oh. Also, we're hungry. E yeah, I mean we can leave them unpowered for. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, do, 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 do. There were more stairs. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be more angry weapons towards cats this place and i'm honestly here for it and i'm a huge cat fan Love maybe there'll here. be a big legendary bird or something that's like <laughs> reputation to cats if the I kill cat, it. cats suck cudgel I hate them are you hostile no trash habit Love me a trash habit. They're wonderful. Oh, hey, there's a sphinx and a skulk. We need both of those we don't need them, but you have 330 drams you get rid of yeah. thanks mister Thanks, Mr. Ba 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 ba. Of this ape. Listen, listen, bird. Oh, the birds. You've become a uh, time punk, the bane of birds. The, the teleportation seven is really good. That's like really nice. Um, and the fact that it is a very decent cudgel. Like I know, um, what is, what is, uh, ape fist do again? I think it's like E2s. Uh... 62. So like the nice thing about that is it's guaranteed to do six damage. And then with like pen 12, you know, it, it, it multiplies by a lot. Um, 3d6, there's a lower chance for damage or there's a, yeah, there's like a, I don't know, the average is lower, but the, the, high, the highs are higher. Also, this is th plus three to hit. So never mind, actually, uh, is actually really good. The plus three to hit. I always undervalue that. Never undervalue the plus three to hit. What's that? That is a bizarre condition. Um, I think it's a normality field. Yeah, norm, norm core. core. Creates normality. Do, 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 do. Floating glow sphere. Did you pick that up? Or you grabbed all of it? I did not. You? Oh. I did not care. That's fair. We have so much money, there's really not much for us to care about anymore. What was that? That is a interdictor. Yeah, interdictor. Um, not really a big deal. It has a chance of, like, if you let it do its thing long enough, it'll teleport you somewhere else inconveniently. Yeah, we've got another... The, the nice thing is about these high-tier historic sites is that they keep going. And um, if they keep going, that means there's another prize waiting for you. Probably another weapon you won't want. But, you know, it's worth grabbing them all the same. And I just, I really like these historic sites because um, the chances are good you're fighting stuff at your tier. Uh, so you're going to be getting more experience. Uh, but also, you are likely going to find something fun at the bottom. Like, even though we're not going to use the Bane of Cats, I just love that it exists. That's one of my favorite things. I don't know. One of my favorite historic site items that I ever got was the Baboon's Boon. Uh -huh. Which is a, a the, you know, Baboon's favorite trinket, basically. It was really fun. A lot going on here. Oh, that's a Glitter Minch. Oh, heck. I never see a Glitter Minch. Uh, those are actually kind of dangerous, but I'm wondering if they wouldn't make a good golem. How would you feel about a glitter mensch golem? Mm -hmm. Let's see, boulder, uh, is level 32, so it, it is a good candidate. Um, here's belonging to the crag mensch faction. Can be found underground in tier 7 zones. Hey, they, they are a cudgel wielder, so they might make for a good golem. 
I kind of like it. They're angry to you right now, right? Yeah. Um, let's see, what is dangerous, uh, notable for having the ability to evade? Yeah, I mean, just a There's holder. a brainer? Brainer is, uh, is it a glitter mensch brainer? Yeah, it is. Glitter mensch brainer. And then a luminary. Oh, you have got the set. You've got the full set. Uh, brainer is also a candidate. Um, I think what I like about the, the, the brainer is a similar creature, but they don't ex and what's good about excavation is basically they have infinite boulders that they pull out of themselves. I don't think you will get that ability, but it's just kind of neat. But you can you can take your pick. I mean, uh, kill the ones you don't want, and then we'll see if we want to uh, befriend quotation marks the last one. I will be would advise some caution though because they have cudgels and they have high strength, so they will stun you. And if they can stun lock you, then it will kill you. These guys these guys are no joke. So yeah, what what you're doing here that's that is good caution caution recommend. Oh, we have a memory eel on the right side as well. Uh, that black gel is really kind of a problem. It's going to be a problem for you because they're going to make gross stuff that will get you sick if you uh, dabble in it. Not a huge problem. We have recipes that can take care of that, so don't worry about it too much. But, you know, honestly, just making a mental note for myself. Oh, we have a green gel as well. Uh, thing about this. Good use of your jump. I'm uh, thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Oh, yeah. Let's throw down some holograms. Good idea. Ah, you have a sore throat. That That happens very quickly. So, um, remind, I'm going to remind us when, after we're done here, we're going to need to use our cure, our cure recipe. But now that you're sick, you may as well go to town and just kill. Okay. Uh... I mean, you can, you can definitely melee them. It's not a big deal. Um, just if you get surrounded by them, then I will, I'll recommend backing up a bit. But right now this is, this is fine. I think you dismembered one. A uh, fun thing about Glitter Mensch is they don't bleed blood, they bleed gems. This is good. And then we can do a charge or just shoot them. That works too. Why not both? Why not both? Badly wounded. They're going to leave a large boulder, but you might want to check their spot anyway because there might be um, some gems left over. Punch, 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 punch. Ape God, Ape God, Ape God, Ape God. Not doing anything. There uh, go. They have a very high AV. Do like a page up, page down. Yeah, see, there's there's some jaspers on the ground. We don't have to deal with that right. Well, you can look at all, look at all the gems on the ground. I've actually never encountered uh, a glitter mensch, so I'm actually I'm, I'm pretty envious. The uh, the crag mensch are like one of my favorite factions, and in fact, recently um, I took part of the modding jam for Caves of Cud, and I made a uh, a creature for the the crag mensch faction. Mm -hmm. Here's one. There must be more glitter mensch, right? We you only killed one. Is that I one right killed, there? That's the luminary, I believe. Yeah. Um. Do you? It really doesn't matter which one we grab, I guess, because the golem. If if you want to do this, and I'm not necessarily pushing you in that direction, but um, they the the golem will be just kind of like generically glitter mensch faction or a uh, crag crag mensch faction. Um. But. The fact that we like these, that they are high level, we can actually use these guys. Um, so how do you feel about it? That's fine. Yeah. Good. Uh, in that case, you want to go and cook a meal and get your beguiling recipe going. Oh. Yeah. Probably have to go upstairs. Or you're like slipping and sliding. There we go. Before we make your beguiling recipe, uh, let's cure your sore throat. Okay. We, we really don't want to let that linger. Uh, let's do the Batman sauteed vine wafers and apple couscous with donut. Hook that up. Start drinking. Yeah. Sore throat? Drink. Sore throat? Drink. 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 Drink, 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 drink. Here we go. I vomited it up. Nice. You vomited up that sore throat. Good for you. All right. So the next thing we want is the, um, we need the mushroom and love tonic, but I'm not seeing that in your favorites i would have thought do we i guess I we don't didn't. know that we favorited it and yeah, i don't think we did favorite it one dram of honey honey and no, we never did get our cool recipe with bone meal skulk and honey what a bummer oh oh there it is at the bottom there ah the lusty loaf with pickled mushroom water it's only what no that's not it that's not it because that's just use beguiling we want um when you eat a mushroom we use beguiling at level six seven and i'm pretty sure we did get that recipe i am i'm almost certain we did get that 
There it is. There it is. Salty Seven, latkes eight. and love dolma. Let's favorite that. It's going to be very important. All right. Now we hope. We hope and we pray that what we are about to do will work because, uh, I mean, they've got a pretty high willpower. We probably the brainer actually has like the best willpower, unfortunately. Just, uh, the brainer's that... dead. Oh, the brainer's dead. Oh, that's the luminary. Um, no. that's what I meant. Sorry. I don't, I don't know where the other one went, wandered off. Luminary actually does have a, a 24 willpower. So they have a, a very good chance of, um, uh, th this might not work. That's fine. We're going to try the anyway. other one. Or this guy. Oh yeah, try that guy instead. Boulder is a better, better option. We need to eat a mushroom. Yep. Anyone will do, uh, including a uh, horse shroom. Uh, there's one. Eat it. Okay. So then you select to the right, the beguiling, and that worked. Um, now they are ogling me. Are they? Oh yeah. yeah. Ogles you Hello. lovingly. All right, so we don't have a lot of time because they aren't beguiled permanently. So um, we can recoil to Great Gate. Mm. I'm going to guess yep. that it won't let you because uh, there are hostiles nearby, but we can try it anyway. Mm. Yeah. Just follow me, though, right? They'll follow. Well, he, he should follow you. Um, even though he's not following you right now, we can pretty safely assume he will teleport with you. You could just kill that luminary. And he'll help you do it. He'll also throw boulders and uh, potentially miss and hit you instead. Uh, mm. uh, don't worry about that. That was uh, the luminary doing a stunning force. Yeah, this is working. It's gonna take a while. Implied I don't have that. Yeah, it'll it'll take less time than it will for beguiling to wear off. And we can always use beguiling again. <laughs> like grabbing the gems while we're in combat. The luminary is taking damage, but they're also recovering weirdly. I think it's because there's a uh, luminous stuff around that is recovering their health. Is this? No, it's not penetrating me either. All right. I'm I'm going to recommend you actually go upstairs and then uh, recoil. Like that's just straight up not working. Mm. Yeah, that was, that was, <laughs> okay. That's one way to do it. Okay, go upstairs. Where, why didn't they follow you? There he is. Oh, there he is. Okay. So now we recoil. Um, for those that was hoping that we would get a bat for the golem, it's a cool idea, but it's a bit too chance-based. You just kind of have to hope we find a bat cherub or a stat sap. Um, and uh, I don't think that's a really good use of our time, to be honest. But, you know, it would it would have been cool. There's no really good or consistent way of finding a bat cherub. Okay, so... Then we go and uh, interact with a golem and then select our follower. There's a body. There you go. It will not be represented on that yet. Um, we're not, it'll, it will be when we we're finished making the golem. Yeah, you can use the deep slumberling's tail. There you go. That's so, okay. So um, we, we can have our, keep our options open, but uh, notice that it gave it uh, a mutation. So uh, what I would recommend since we have chiral rings is that we start collecting limbs that we chop mm -hmm. off of things and then we, you know, peruse. We shop around. They're all, it's going to offer us many different mutations. Um, the mutations will be specifically on the golem, um, but either way. Two-hearted is fine. That's actually a pretty good mutation that offers um, the golem higher toughness. Uh, and I think that it can even level up toughness. It's it's not a terrible mutation, but we do we do want to consider our options. But anyway, I think that's a pretty good um, pretty good place to leave it. Good app. All right. Well, uh, if you're enjoying this uh, series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.